And Stamford Bridge is the venue on a very pleasant day for football here in West London. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Chelsea facing Burnley. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And this is the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pop gets the nod between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Ben Mee in central defence and so many different ways to configure an attack in this case it'll be two men up front And the match begins. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. And they have possession again. Westwood, Brownhill, oh lovely ball, and there it is, but hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well it was a close call, but he is just offside, good finish mind you. Marcos Alonso. This is Loftus Cheek. Christensen. And he read it well defensively. And Chris Wood. Oh, good looking run. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Playing it in, and a struggle to get it away properly. Well, they can bring it out now. This might be ideal for the counter. Defenders need to cover. And there's the feed into the box. And pushed onto the woodwork. Brownhill. McNeil well no stopping him still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead and reading it absolutely superbly applying vigorous pressure Wood and under pressure that was a fine claim Hudson Odoi. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Defensive efficiency personified. Hudson Odoi. Christensen. 
Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Getting forward. Excellent defending. A really intense pressure applied. He'll try his luck here. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. McNeil. Cornet has it. And slipped through beautifully. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Played over. It might still be problematic. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, that pass easy on the eye. He might be able to make it through. And a goal! Now they have their opener. And now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And they are back underway. Chelsea with the advantage. McNeil Taylor with it and Chris Wood targets available cross comes in the clearance wasn't decisive but it looks so threatening but the danger averted oh lovely incisive pass and he's through Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So, 2-0 now. Loftus cheek. Ziesch. And making the move to the inside. It's still alive. And he clears it out of harm's way. Brownhill. And space for the cross. McNeil. Wood. Could be threatening. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions, and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. So, the beginning of the second half here at Stamford Bridge. Marcos Alonso 
Havertz. It's Callum Hudson Odoi. Played towards the near post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper, and that was always going to be claimed. McNeil. And that puts him in position. Throw ins given. Josh Brownhill. And fine work from Chelsea to win the ball back. Wood. Excellent defending. Hudson Odoi. Marcus Alonso. Cross fired over. Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. McNeil. Charlie Taylor. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. So a personnel change then. Well, as those stats tell us, Burnley have controlled much of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. And an astute piece of defending. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Westwood. Jack Court now. A oh, nice ball over the top. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. McNeil. Taylor. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Aspili Quetta. On to Jorginho. Well, oh, they're sitting ever deeper. Aspiliqueta, straight offside, but only just. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Successfully cut out. And that is how to win the ball back from your opponent. Now, what can they do from here? But they took care of the situation defensively. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And time for the change now. Played in there. And just a bit too much height on the header. Please return to your vehicle. Your lights are on. And he takes it away. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Offside the decision. Aspili Quetta. It's with Saul. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Thiago Silva. Pulisic. Saul. Terrific block. 
He failed to keep it that time, Saul. Well, not long to go now, and Chelsea have been superb, Stuart. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play, and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. And the substitution will occur now. Number 24, Rich James. Substitution for Burnley. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Dwight McNeil. Coming onto the pitch, number 27. Could pull one back here. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. James. Havertz. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Jorginho. Well, from so far out, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though, Stuart. Well, he did have options, but that was a good effort in the end. He wasn't too far away, was he? Westwood, Goodmanson, Cork, Charlie Taylor, Taylor, and possession given away. Oh, lovely incisive pass. He's in position. Can they keep it out? And the keeper showing tremendous command. <laughs> Let's see about the delivery. Clearing the lines. And so it will be a corner now. Over it comes, but the keeper takes command. Rudiger, and the keeper making sure there were no... And that is full-time. Chelsea have prevailed. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, a high-level contribution from Kai Havertz. Stuart, sum up for us what most impressed you about his performance. Well, he should be happy with his goal and the win, but he'd be slightly annoyed that he hasn't scored a couple more. Overall, though, I thought he was excellent.